Hey, in today's video, we're gonna talk false eye spots. I'm gonna show you how to get them in the exact same place on every bait you paint. It's really easy. So the first thing I did was I made a stencil. This one is for my rogues. And so what I did was, I, you see the two notches in the stencil? That's gonna be to place a mark on the bait where I want the false eye spot. So I have this line marked, which is the nose of the bait. I'm gonna take an alligator clip and I'm gonna pinch it on so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I do, I, I see the notches in here, so I'm gonna pull it up just a smidge because I want the eye spot a little bit more on the shoulder than on the side of the bait. Now I'm going to take a marker and all I'm gonna do is right at the bottom of that triangle, I'm just gonna make a little dot. That's my false eye spot mark. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side of the bait. So we're gonna flip the bait around. I'm gonna flip this around. You see I have a mark on that too, that side too. I'm gonna flip that around, line it up with the nose of the bait, crimp it down with the alligator clip, Slide it up a smidge so it's on the shoulder. Remember, I used the first, I used the first triangle, so I have to use the first one again. And make a dot on the bait. Now what I have a marker there and a marker there. I can tip the bait this way and I can see that this dot and this dot line up. We're good to go. So now let's talk about painting this thing. So there's a key to this. When you're painting a, the false eye spots, what I like to do, well, in this instance, I'm using a color, it's called, it's called smoke black, because I want it to be semi-transparent and I don't want it to be too stark for this bait. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my, put my paint in my cup, drops, get my reducer. I go about half reducer. It doesn't matter as long as it's thin enough to come out of your airbrush without creating too much, without it being too liquidy. When you're doing the eye spot, you want it to be drier when you're painting the eye spot on. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna reduce it down at quite as much. And a good way to tell that is I'll just, Use, use my stirring stick and I'll lift it up and if it drips off the bottom, I'm pretty good. So now what I wanna do, I never spray on the bait without making a test first. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna see how the paint's coming out of my gun. Perfect. Now you notice that when I made my line, I kept the air coming out of the gun when I stopped my stroke. That, that just helps out with uh, tip dry or getting splatter on the bait. You never want to spray the bait without doing a test first. So now I'm going to control my air, my paint flow, and let's try a dot or something. Let's see if it's... So we can make dots. So we're good. So I know that's set. So. It's really hard to freehand it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my vise. I'm gonna put the bait, my bait in the vise so I can see it better. Now, this, this is a little tricky. So now I'm gonna line up my mark and I'm just gonna very easily hit my eye spot. Very easy. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull back on the gun and pulling back on it's gonna diffuse the eye spot so it's not a hard circle because I want it light. So now I'm just gonna turn the bait around, I'm gonna angle it up a little bit and we're gonna do this again. So notice I always do a brush test before because I don't wanna splatter the paint on the bait. And 
and there we go. We have our eye spots on the bait. This side, that side, and if you tip the bait this way, you can see that they're lining up. We're happy with that. And that's really all there is to it. Make your tool, measure it out, line it up on the bait, take your pen, make a dot, and you can do hit the mark every time. Now here's a little trick I'm gonna tell you guys for you beginners out there. If you want to learn how to keep hitting the mark, basically you can you can practice. So I'll I'll make a little eye spot on a piece of paper, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna practice hitting it. So now I'm gonna look at that dot, I'm gonna line the, the gun up. Now I'm freehanding this. Usually I usually I'll rest it like that so I don't move. But I'm gonna freehand this one. So I'll line up the dot, I'll look at it, and I'll hit it. And so when you, with a practice, you'll be able to do that. I can hit just about any dot I want. And so the trick to make them fade out, start in a little close, start your dot and back the gun up and it fades itself out. And that's all there is to it. You can make very natural looking eye spots this way. And remember, eye spots to make them real, back the pen up, use a, use a, little marking tool so you have the exact location on every bait and you're good to go.